Hi everyone, it's Emma. Um, just gonna do a little update video today. Um, not really a tutorial or how to. Um, I did get a, this is the main reason I wanted to show. I got a little Ikea bed for my piggies. I've just put it in. Um, I just cleaned out everybody's cages. Um, so I guess I'll just go over the setup quickly. Sorry if the lighting's bad as well because it's a gross, um, wet day today. So it's kind of dark. Um, so for Cappy and Pash, I just have the skull and crossbone fleece. And I just put in a cozy and a wooden house so they have something, um, sturdy to hide in and to chew on. There's Pash snoozing and Cappy's all curled up. Aww. Too cute. <laughs> so I just used the little cuddle cup bed there and then I also folded some spare fleece that I had and folded it in it to make it a bit more cushiony because the bed's about a year old now so it's getting a little bit worn from being washed so many times so and it didn't really have a cushion in the bottom so I thought I'd put something nice and cozy in there for him and clearly he likes it. Eh? Yes. There's like a little puppy dog in there, huh? And then, gotta show these guys. So there's, it's just more simple so they can run around. Um, they can hide under the bed, so it's kind of like a ginormous house. Oh, Winnie's gonna maybe try and go up. And then I also put in a cube house. I did have it in the corner, just so that they have another house to go in. And depending on where they decide to sleep and stuff, I might put in another bed or cushion just because I don't want to fill it up too much I like them to have space to run around in and clearly the bed is a hit so you win as soon as I put it in there they all started hiding in it under it hi hi sweetie so the bed is from Ikea um, I know a lot of other guinea pig owners on YouTube have gotten this bed. It's just, oops, sorry. It's just a nice wooden frame bed so they can chew on the wood. Um, it's not stained with anything. And then it just came with the cute little bedding. It has a little pillow, which I thought was adorable. So I've just cut the tags off everything. And because the guinea pigs are in my room, I can monitor them with it and make sure that they don't start chewing on the bedding um, or anything like that but I have taken off tags. And then it also came with the little blue blanket there and I've just put it against there so that if they do learn to hop up here, they don't start chewing on the coroplast wall. So, oh, Winnie's having a snack. Gotta go exploring, Win. But yeah, I think I'll maybe try putting their hay up there or some trees to encourage them to go up top. They're so excited. There, let's see underneath the bed. Hey Winnie, are you hiding? Here's a little Pippin. So yeah, I'll show my hand. So it's only, it's about as long as my hand. So it's not very high at all. They should be able to hop up there. Pippin, your sister is in that house. And like always, after I clean their cages, they have to rearrange everything. What else is new? Hey Juno, are you hiding? Are you hiding, silly pig? But I thought that would be a nice addition. Um, and I, at Ikea, it was about $24.99, I believe. So it wasn't cheap, it's actually a lot bigger than I thought it was. Um, after seeing it in people's videos, I didn't think it was too big. and It's actually quite a large doll bed but the pigs clearly love it hey Winnie oh I see little Pippin nose hey getting a drink they are kind of starting to look up top so hopefully they figure it out on their own I'm sure they will Winnie likes to hop up top, and then I also put it against the wall so that they can't hop out if they do learn to get up there. Oh, Pippin. Hey, Win. Hi. Do 
Juno loves that cube house. It's her favorite. Hey. They're probably all gonna fight on over who gets to hide out underneath. But hopefully they sort things out. And like I said, if if I feel like one of them's getting stuck sleeping outside without a house, then I'll definitely put in another one. Come on, pigs. Go upstairs. I'm gonna have to grab some lettuce or something to tempt them up there. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna grab some lettuce and try and get them to hop up top. Okay, so I've just grabbed a handful of lettuce. Um, just romaine lettuce. So I'm gonna try and get their attention with it. And show them. Oh, Winnie, you're bad. She's pulled out the fleece over there in that corner. There, I don't want it to be too easy for them to reach. Don't look at me. Look, look up here. There we go. Well, now when he knows, can you reach? You gotta hop. She's just trying to stretch and reach it. Oh, have I upset you? You know where it is. <laughs> I can smell it. Come on. Winnie, you're smart. Juno, look. Juno. Come on. I'm sure they'll figure it out on their own soon. Pippin. Come on, Winnie, you're so close. There. That one you can reach. Stop looking at me. You know where the lettuce is. Come on. Here, Pippin. You're a big guy. Come in. Come in. Oh, he was so close. Look. Look, Pip. Oh, look at that little piggy belly. Uh-oh. Don't. Oh, Winnie. There, now everybody's had a piece of lettuce. And now I can hear Pash have caused a frenzy. I hear Pash squawking behind me now. Because she heard the other pigs crunching. They know. Oh, come on, Pippin. Come on, come on, come on. Hop. Oh, Winnie managed to grab it. Come on. Oh, she's so close. She just keeps stretching it. Oh, pigs. They're all stealing it from her. He'd swear that they wouldn't get they'd never had lettuce the way they're fighting over it. Come on, Pip. You can hop up there. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on, Winnie. Oh, they're just trying to stretch and Pippin was able to. And now they're all going to steal his lettuce. Poor guy. Pigs, come on. No stealing. Be nice to one another. That weaking that you can hear right now is actually Pashmina. There, come on, Pip. Now I'm gonna put the rest up there and stop giving them some and see if they'll hop up. Juno! That was mean. Come on, Pippin, don't look at me. You guys know where it is. I'm just gonna fix that corner of fleece. There we go. Sorry about that. Come on, pigs, there's still lettuce up there. Oh, Winnie, you're gonna get yourself stuck in there. Yay! <laughs> And Winnie made it up. Now the other pigs are gonna hear her crunching and maybe they'll figure it out too. Come on, Juno. You're a smart pig. 
No, Pippin, you're not gonna fit through there. You're gonna get stuck. Well, I think Winnie wins. Oh, Juno's looking. That lettuce isn't gonna last long. <laughs> Well, they're all trying hard, so we'll have to give them each some piles of lettuce after. Come on, Pip! Little Winnie's sitting up there all proud. Oh, come on, Pippin! Come on! Come on! Lift! Don't try to reach, you gotta hop! Aww! You're a big pig. Come on. And this is why guinea pigs don't need levels in their cages. They're not hoppers. I mean, it's... I've had levels in mind, but you have to provide them a ramp or else they just don't always... They're not always the best hoppers. They're certainly not chinchillas. Come on, Juno. Come on. Go on, Junabug. Go on. There's not going to be much lettuce left soon. <laughs> I'm not sure Pippin will fit through that little spot that Winnie went through. He's got quite the tummy. Yes, you do, Pip. I'm sorry. Come on. Oh. Your sister's going to get it all. Come on, Juno. Come on, Pip. Oh, he almost has... He almost reached it. Okay, I feel mean. I'll steal some and give. Come on. Come on, Juno. Yes, I hear you, Pash. Yep. There. When he's looking for the rest of her food. Isn't that fun? It's kind of a hard surface up here still, so I'm going to have to add some more cushions to it or something to make it more comfy. Maybe a little fleece blankie. Well, Winnie had no problem hopping up there, which means they should all be able to do it just fine. I know lots of other people who have guinea pigs that get up top and very easily. Hopefully she can get down. That should be easy. And down the same way she went up. <laughs> oh goodness, Pippin. So, that is their little bed. And just before I wrap up my video, hi you guys. I'll get you a treat too once I'm done. Um, I just wanted to ask my viewers to send in, like they can either put it in comments for this video or they can message me. I'm going to be doing another how to tame your guinea pig video. So I just want people's specific questions or troubles that they're having taming their pigs. Um, I do already have a taming video, but I want to do an updated one with new tips and that sort of thing. So, yeah, so send me any questions or troubles you're having taming your guinea pig. And thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs> Bye.